Today is a new day. A day to recommit to your goals. A day to overcome what has held you back. A day to break free and push further. What will you bring? I'm bringing new determination, new strength, new focus, and new patience. What will you bring? My name is Adrian Gaskin, and I've been an elite personal trainer for over a decade. I am continually learning cutting-edge techniques in movement science. Now I train the next generation of personal trainers. I'm going to teach you highly functional movements that will strengthen you, build your confidence, and transform how you move in the world. Let's get moving with our warm-up. Today we'll start with jogging on the spot, keeping it light and bouncy. This warm up will consist of three running components, a jog, a run, and a sprint, with three dimensional stretching and a walkout flow in between. Let's start with three dimensional stretching. Adopt a staggered stance, left foot forward, right foot back. Right hand reaches up, exhaling as you do so. Inhale as you return to the starting position. Place your left hand on your left hip, reach and exhale. Move in and out of these two positions fluidly. Sink your breath to the pattern. Reach high. Feel the lengthening through the front of your body. Hand on the outside of your hip. Encourage lengthening through the outside of your glute as you reach away. Change sides. Right foot forward, left foot back. Feet hip width apart. Reach your left arm up to try and touch the ceiling as you come high on the toes of your left foot. Return to the starting position. Bring your right hand onto the outside of your right hip. Shift your hip into that hand as you reach your left hand in the opposite direction. Let's move in and out of these two positions. Inhale as you extend. Exhale as you return. Move with your breath. That's it. Now let's run. You are now moving faster than earlier, but not quite sprinting. Feet spring softly off the ground. Keep those arms moving as well. Aim for a pace that challenges you. Into our walkout flow. Squat down. Walk your hands forward into a plank position. Push your left hand into the ground. Rotate, reaching your right hand towards the ceiling, followed by your left side. Walk back. Once on your feet, jump off the ground. Land, repeat. Squat down, walk out, rotate, rotate, Return to your feet, jump, repeat. Interact with the ground purposefully. If confident, speed it up while maintaining control. To modify, just leave out the jump at the end. Keep your core engaged as you flow through. Time to sprint. Speed right up, really driving your heart rate up. Explode off the balls of your feet, driving your arms with intention. To modify, return to a jog or a fast march. Use those arms.
Now take a moment to breathe and really prepare yourself for the upcoming workout. This workout will require two dumbbells and a looped band. We will begin with a power practice to prime our system. This is a lateral bound. I'm loading my foot and bounding laterally to mirror the position I started in. Start small and land soft. Once confident, increase the distance and speed with which you're moving. Use your arms to drive you. Maintain control. Focus on keeping the landing soft and quiet. Bound at a pace that challenges you. Rest. Your workout today will consist of four exercises, each performed for 40 seconds, followed by 20 seconds of rest. We'll repeat that three times. Your exercises are squat, banded dead bug, bent over row, and the lateral bound, which you have just practiced. Squat down and pick up both dumbbells. Set your feet shoulder width apart. Squat as you hold the dumbbells in front of you, lightly resting them on the front of your shoulder. Spread the ground with your feet as you return to standing. Inhale going down, exhale coming up. Your knees should stay in line with your toes throughout. Core engaged, pull yourself down into the squat and drive out. Rest. Place the dumbbells down. Let's take a quick breather here as we prepare for the next movement. Focus on your breathing. Next is the banded dead bug. You will need your band for this movement. Come onto the ground. Wrap the band around your feet where your shoelaces are. On your back, knees above your hips and a 90 degree angle at your knees, squeeze your hands together in front of your chest. Now drive your right foot into the band as your left leg stays in position. Your lower back should remain on the ground throughout. Alternate sides. Exhaling as you drive one leg away and inhaling as the leg returns. Rest. Take the band off and prepare your dumbbells for the bent over row. Pace yourself here as we head into another strength building movement. Carefully pick the dumbbells up. Hinge, hips shift backwards, knees unlock. Spine should be long and strong. Abdomen braced. Pull the dumbbells up to the side of your rib cage, exhaling as you do so. The only movement should be coming from the shoulders and arms. Elbows are slightly off the side of your body as you pull. Shoulder blades will slide together, opening up the chest. Pull to the side of your rib cage, not to your armpit. Rest placing the dumbbells down. Your ability to rest is just as important as your ability to move. Next, our power exercise, the lateral bound. Your setup is a staggered stance. This round, you will pause and reset between each bound. Go. Land softly on the outside of your foot. Think like a cat. Reset and go. Start small, doing what's best for you. This might be large steps or long explosive bounds. Your arms are dictating where your body is going. 
Push yourself on those last reps. Make them count. Rest. First round done. Now you know the movements, we can move through them with confidence. Safely pick up the dumbbells. Squat. Feet slightly turned out. Big toe, little toe and heel all in contact with the ground. Squeeze the dumbbells tight. Spread the ground as you return to standing. Abdomen braced. Spine neutral. Inhale to squat, exhale to stand. Exactly. Rest, placing the dumbbells down. Focus on deep breathing here. We're working hard. Prepare for the banded dead bug. Drive your foot into the band. Make sure the other knee does not creep closer to your chest. Lower back stays on the ground. Squeeze your hands together to stabilize the upper body. Spine is long, abdomen and hips working. Move with control here. Shaking is normal. Breathe. Relax. Getting rid of the band. Great work. Let's take a quick stretch here. Take hold of your dumbbells in preparation for your bent over row. Hinge at the hips, pull. At any point, return to standing as the bent over position can be tough to hold. Initiate the pull with your shoulders, followed by bringing the elbows to your side. Your core remains engaged. Spine stays long. Feel the muscles of your back working. Exhale as you pull up. Keep the focus on your form. Rest. Keep moving during this rest period and take some deep breaths. Let's get back to it. Prepare to bound laterally. Setup is important. Staggered stance, drive off the outside foot. Arms guiding your movement. Land softly with your hips square. Pause between reps, or if confident, try continuously bounding always prioritizing the quality of the movement. Keep breathing and dig deep. Challenge yourself here. Final seconds of this round. Rest. Let's take a deep breath together here. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Last round. Get ready to squat. Inhale as you descend. Exhale as you come up. Feel the strength of your lower body drive you out of the bottom position. Only squat as low as you're able to maintain a neutral spine. Stay strong. Keep moving. This is our final set. Aim to finish with your best reps.
Stay with me. Feel your strength. Rest. We want to build strength from a place of rest, so take this time to recover. Deep, full breaths here. Find your band. Actively brace your core as you drive your foot into the band. Keep the knee above the hip. Fight to keep the lower back on the ground. Slow, controlled repetitions. Nice. Use your breath here and keep your core engaged. Last few of these now. Keep that lower back on the floor. Rest. Put the band to the side and take a moment here to hydrate and recenter yourself. Let's get ready for our last push here. Grab your dumbbells. Hinge. Row. Elbows are slightly off the side of your body. Keep your shoulders away from your ears to avoid shrugging. Long through the back of the neck. Keep the abdomen active as you lower the dumbbells and pull again. Spine stays neutral. Exhale strongly as you pull up. Keep your core engaged right to the end. That's it. Rest. The moments in between sets let us recover energetically and focus on what's next. Breathe. Last bit of work. Make it count. Spring from one foot to the other sinking into your hip as you land and driving away again. Find distance. Keep moving. Reset whenever you need to make sure your next bound is a good one. This is it. You can go all out here knowing the finish line is coming in hot. Almost there. That was a challenging workout right to the end. Let's take some deep breaths and move into our cool down. Now let's cool down. From standing, gently rotate on the spot, letting your arms go where they want. Now slowly roll forward, one vertebrae at a time. In the bottom position, Lightly bounce. Keep the knees slightly bent. Bend your knees and walk forward onto all fours for bird dog. Reach your right arm straight forward and your left leg straight back behind you. Switch sides. Left arm forward, right leg backwards. Keep going. Keep your core engaged here. Now step your right foot forward into a half kneeling position. Your left knee should be directly below your hip. Tuck your pelvis in slightly, pointing the front of your hip in the direction of the ceiling. Feel the lengthening sensation in the front of your left hip. Hands can rest on your hips, or reach your left hand towards the ceiling to increase the stretch. Change sides, left foot forward. Tuck the pelvis. Start to normalize your breathing. Reach your right hand to the ceiling if you'd like. Breathe into the stretch.
Now sit back into your heels, appreciating the length this position offers the lower back. Make your way onto your back, arms draped by your sides, feet flat on the ground or legs extended, whatever feels best for you. Breathe. Inhale through the nose, bypassing your chest into the belly. Feel your midsection expand, followed by the rib cage. Follow that with a long exhalation. Repeat. This long, calm breath will help downregulate your nervous system, allowing your body to recover faster. Stay as long as you like here or make your way to standing. Thank you for working on your strength with me today. Your hard work will pay off. See you again soon.